Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to schedule a WebEx meeting, include a room system like the one behind me, and actually join that meeting with the room system. If you're new here, hit subscribe. Otherwise, let's dive in and check it out firsthand. Creating the invite is as simple as opening a calendar invite and creating a meeting request in Microsoft Outlook. I've given it a subject, a location, and now I'm going to actually invite the physical room in which I want to host this meeting at. I know here at Cisco that I have the Malvern Yellow Springs room that I can use, so I'm going to search for that in the directory and add it to this invite in the recipient field. You see that it's been added. Uh, it is a proxy approved uh, or requires proxy approval, so that will be part of it as well. You notice also that it's been added to the location field, respectively. Next, I'll come up and I'll use the WebEx plugin. Click Add WebEx. After a few moments, it will add the WebEx information to the invite. If I close and relaunch this invite, we will see that the information has been filled in. When I reopen the invite, you notice that the Join Meeting option has been built out. I also have the meeting information, the uh, SIP URI to dial, IP address, so on and so forth. Here's the dial-in information, and last but not least, the link dial-in or the Microsoft dial-in option for the meeting. You will notice that with that meeting scheduled, there is now a meeting invite that appears on the touch panel of the Touch 10. We can simply come back into meetings and we have that information there. It shows the name of the meeting, the time, as well as myself as the organizer. We simply can press the join button to start that meeting. You'll also see the meeting indicated on the display of the unit and um, gives us some guidance on how we can actually go ahead and join that meeting. If I press the green join button, the call will start. It'll ask us if we are the host, assuming no one else has already joined. I'll press the no option in this case. And we're waiting for the meeting to begin and the other participants to join the meeting. When done, we can simply end the call. Alternatively, we can actually ask the endpoint with WebEx Assistant to start the meeting for us. Okay, WebEx, start the meeting. Got it. Joining test meeting. Again, it will ask us if we are the host, and the meeting will begin accordingly. When the meeting has ended, we can simply ask the endpoint to end the call. Okay, WebEx, end the call. And we'll return back to the waiting state that we were in prior to joining the meeting. Hopefully that's given you a quick idea on what's involved in scheduling and getting a video endpoint into a WebEx. If you have other questions, comments, tips, or tricks, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I want to thank you for watching. Hope to see you again soon.